So how do you compare two unreleased games to a game that isn't even announced? I understand that not everything revolves around Grand Theft Auto, trust me. But being that Grand Theft Auto fans are so desperate for something new, I figured I would try to introduce y'all to two new games that are the closest things that we're going to get to Grand Theft Auto 6 in terms of open world, single player game, and experience, and all that kind of stuff. And the cool thing about it is, one of these games is in the past, and the other is in the future. So, we're talking about Mafia Definitive Edition and Cyberpunk 2077. Because Grand Theft Auto isn't getting anything new for the foreseeable future, I wanted to introduce y'all to some games that I'm excited for that I don't think are getting that much love. So again, I know people get offended by this kind of stuff, which is hilarious to me because it's just games, but I am not comparing Mafia to Grand Theft Auto, or am I comparing Cyberpunk to Grand Theft Auto. They are very similar in ways, and they're also very different in in other ways because it's not all about Grand Theft Auto. So if y'all enjoy, please give the video a thumbs up. Let's go for 2,000 likes. One of these games actually releases tomorrow. That's Mafia Definitive Edition, literally tomorrow. So this is for the younger guys out there who watch the channel that aren't familiar with Mafia. So Mafia Definitive Edition is a remake, not a remaster, but of the same game from 2002. The only difference is Mafia Definitive Edition, which releases tomorrow. I'm just going to say that so much so y'all play it. But this game was rebuilt from scratch. It's the same story, characters, and everything. Just built from scratch as if it was just created in 2020. Now, there are some subtle changes, say, to the story. And also to the city, there are changes because the city is now bigger. There's more buildings. So it's expanded upon but for the better. And I never realized there was a difference between a remake and a remaster. Uh, a remaster would be just like graphical enhancements, but a remake is like adding things and literally just taking the game and remaking that. I never knew there was a difference. But anyways, I only played Mafia 1, which released in August of 2002 in 2004. At the time, I was eight years old, and to me, that game was incredibly hard so i never got into it i rented it from blockbuster it was hard and i just never played it again so i mean it was from 2002 but being that old mafia was actually way ahead of its time back then while I haven't had much experience firsthand playing the original Mafia, I've actually done so much research into the game. I know so many things. I know all about the story. And just because I didn't ever want to go back and play this game that, you know, if you were to play it in 2020 or even in the last couple years, this game from 2002 is very empty. It's very linear. And it's just not as enjoyable now being able to, say, compare it to Grand Theft Auto V, where it's an open world similar game with uh, single player stuff and, and all that but mafia one is from 2002 and it's just very bland so i'm not comparing it to gta and the aspect of the the game in general but playing a game from 2002 and playing a game in 2020 is just way different so anyways the game was incredibly detailed is what i'm getting at and there are random occurrences that happen for instance kind of like in gta the stranger and freak missions and one of those that i remember reading about and seeing is you can be on a bridge and you can actually stop because there's a crowd of people trying to talk a man down from jumping off of this bridge things like that just pop up all over the game and like i said that's from 2002 most games back then weren't that detailed and those features weren't actually seen in games really until like the 2010 era of games so anyways with this game releasing tomorrow i'm super excited for it because i've been a fan of mafia since 2010 and to get to experience a game that i never got to fully experience is going to be amazing so look out for some mafia content coming tomorrow as for the rest of the series let's touch base on that real quick because there's mafia 2 which released in 2010 and to this day is in my top five favorite games this one actually takes place in the late 1940s 40s to early 50s where you play as Vito Scaletta and the cool thing about it is that it actually ties into Mafia in ways that I'm not going to spoil but what I'll tell you is that you don't actually have to play the Mafia games in order to get a good understanding it's kind of like GTA there's just certain cameos and crossovers and things like that that you would know about if you've played any of the older games so you can play Mafia 2 uh, first, if you want, and still play Mafia and everything will make sense. Mafia 2 was and still is an amazing game. Even the graphics are up to par with today's standards. It's a true masterpiece.
Then there's Mafia 3, which released in 2016, and initially I didn't like the game due to its repetitiveness in the story. I've always said that the major cutscenes at like the end of the chapters were amazing, but I was also going through a weird time in life when that game came out, so I never truly appreciated it after I just rushed through the main story. But this game takes you to 1968 New Orleans. It captures so much of the time uh, from cars, the music, and even the racism that was going on. There's a lot of historical accuracy and value to Mafia 3 that, looking back, aside from the repetitive story, I didn't appreciate, nor did many other people. The game just kind of fell flat on its face. And the reason for that is, I think fans of Mafia, and even myself, speaking from experience here, had high expectations after how amazing Mafia 2 was. But during development, Mafia 3 was actually developed by a new studio or a team, uh, so that would explain why it doesn't have that same feel as Mafia 2. Regardless, I'd recommend you play Mafia 3 because it, again, is connected in ways to Mafia 2, just like 2 is to 1, but you could play Mafia 3 last if you wanted to. Now, last up, the other game that we actually have here is Cyberpunk 2077. So, if you think Rockstar not announcing Grand Theft Auto 6 and taking forever to make a new game is bad, I would actually today years old the other day when I found out that Cyberpunk was announced in 2012. This game has literally been in development for eight years now. It's set for a November 19th release date so just a few months away one day after my birthday yay but this game has been pushed back and delayed multiple times i think however we're finally in the home stretch with this and there will be no more delays so like mafia could be compared to gta in the past cyberpunk could be gta in the future again not everything revolves around gta but i know we got a lot of gta fans on the channel and that's why i'm bringing up gta to just try to show love to these games which have very similar features but like i said they're way different in their own mannerisms so i'm just meaning open world style games like assassin's creed could be grand theft auto in the 1100s just because it's open world with a story that's all i'm insinuating here so the cool thing about cyberpunk is it's more of an old school single player style game that you don't see nowadays and it's probably because the game was announced in 2012 uh, there's no microtransactions not that those are bad but nowadays a lot of game developers will milk that feature to where it does become bad but a little bit about cyberpunk and kind of what it is, is cyberpunk takes place in Night City, a crime-ridden city in the free state of California. Players take control of V, a mercenary deeply embedded in the underworld of Night City. V is customizable to the player's choosing and allowing them to be any gender and have any skin tone. Their backgrounds and combat styles are also up to the player's preference from the brute force strength or the crippling advantage of opponents with advanced hacking. And another little official synopsis of Cyberpunk from the game's official website is, Cyberpunk is an open world action adventure story set in Night City. A megalopolis obsessed with power glamour and body modification you play as v a mercenary outlaw going after a one-of-a-kind implant that is the key to immortality you can customize your character's cyberware skill set play style and explore a vast city where the choices you make shape the story and the world around you so the thing about cyberpunk is the game is supposedly incredibly detailed obviously without playing we don't know that but literally any choice you make like saying the wrong thing to a pedestrian might come back to bite you later on in the story kind of like a butterfly effect so very excited for that one as well um, it seems very interesting and the game itself just looks really really cool with the neon vibes and it's like a synthwave futuristic 80s style like game I don't know I'm really excited for it though that's just the vibe that I get but I wanted to share this with y'all because like I said Grand Theft Auto isn't life and this is about the closest we're going to get for a long time. So might as well spice things up with some new stuff as it comes. So hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. We got some Mafia coming tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, man. I love all of y'all. Thank you so much for being there. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all, mother lovers, on the flip side.